guys from from United Kingdom. You're watching Trucker Josh on TJV. <laughs> Good morning everybody, we're all loaded up with our next load, ready to hit the highway. Got one more pickup yet, like I said, near Minneapolis in St. Paul. This guy's going to Winnipeg. Apparently it's very uh, difficult to find these boom trucks with the tracks, and that's why they bought one all the way from down here in the U.S. to bring up to Canada. Should be fun. It's about 26,000 pounds. Just stopped at the first rest area we passed, checked the chains, make sure everything was still tight, make sure I didn't lose anything, make sure I'm not going to lose anything. So far, we're all good to go. I got a hold of the shipper in West St. Paul. It is actually called West St. Paul, but I think it's just St. Paul. I don't know. We'll just call it Minneapolis. called them up. I'm not quite going to make it before they go home today. So I'm going to wait around somewhere on the west side of the city and uh, go load tomorrow morning and then head home. So I'll be home, well I'll be in Winnipeg tomorrow night, but I'll have to stay in the truck because uh, I'll have to unload this stuff the next morning. So that'll be Friday morning when I'm going to unload this stuff. Then I'll be home Friday afternoon, Friday evening, something like that. Another day of wonderful, wonderful drivers everywhere, right? Always such good drivers on the highway. I wish. I don't know if you can see it, he's way up there already. This is a little red import car, right? That was just weaving in and out of traffic and uh, I wasn't having none of that, right? And I guess I was occupying the space and time that he wanted to occupy. Or pardon me, it was a she, it was a young girl. And uh, well, I'm bigger than her and her vehicle and that made her mad. So uh, started driving like a maniac, tried to pass me on over the shoulder. She was trying to merge onto traffic and I had bumper to bumper traffic beside me on my left side, right? You know the story, same as always. I wasn't able to move over. I slowed down to try to let her have room, made lots of room for her to get in front of me. She got scared, slammed on the brakes, then changed her mind and slammed on the gas and changed her mind, slammed on the brakes and changed her mind again and shot down the shoulder to try to get beside me. All she had to do was just merge on in front. She was already in front of me. She was already in front of me, had room to move in. You know the story, right? You guys see this all the time. And then, of course, you know what happened next, right? I got the salute as she passed by. And there were, her husband looked like he was in the passenger seat or maybe it was her brother, I don't know. There was another guy in the passenger seat. And uh, yelling, swearing out the windows they were passing me. And I was, you know, sort of smiling at them. Like, I, I couldn't do anything, it's not my fault. Sorry, I, I tried to make it easier for you to get on the highway, you decided to freak out. And as they're passing me, and then I look in the back seat, and they have a child in the back seat waving at me, giving me the air horn, you know, the air pump. Like, oh no, now I'm conflicted. Now I can honk at them and make the kid happy and probably trigger the parents up front because they think I was honking at them and you know, they could, I don't know if they're packing, this is America. I don't know, they're already mad, I didn't want to upset them. So, you know, I had to disappoint the kid and not honk the horn because I didn't want to freak out his parents more than they were and have them shoot me or something. Just saying that scenario is not likely at all. But uh, they were mad, I didn't want to make it worse, right? So the poor kid, I couldn't honk for him. Swung by Boston, Wisconsin, I'm gonna fuel up here so I don't have to worry about doing it tomorrow. This plan's changed again. I got another uh, another piece of freight added onto my load, which is good. It's extra money. Uh, but I gotta pick it up on Friday, so tomorrow we'll pretty much just be sitting around waiting. 
but I don't want to have to go and get fuel because it's out in uh, Nicolette, Minnesota. It's kind of like a small town. I just want to sort of go there and wait to load Friday morning. Let's see here. So we figured we'd fuel up today. Oh, went a little too far. A little too far. I don't got to worry about it later. So I'm guessing I'm going to stop at a quick trip. I don't know if I want to go all the way to that Flying J. I have a feeling that by the time I get there, there's going to be no parking left. That Flying J is always so busy. That's the one in Roberts, Wisconsin, right? The Gong Show. I don't want to spend the night there, actually. I mean, it's, it's bad enough going in there just to grab fuel. But I think I'm going to stop at a quick trip uh, a few mile markers before. Oh, we're getting a nice early end to the day here. What is this, Glenwood City, Wisconsin? Quick trip. About 45 minutes from my pickup tomorrow morning. That's okay, I can do that in the morning. I have all the, all these roundabouts. I'm not a fan of these roundabouts, but you know, they're kind of growing on me. I understand why they do them now. Still not a fan though. So yeah, we're gonna stop here for the night. And the sun is still up, so I get to enjoy a bit of an evening. Destination on the right side, quick trip number 603. Thanks, Karen. So far, she's been doing pretty good. All right, so where do we want to go and park? Where do we want to park? There's a nice spot right here. I'm gonna go park there. I gotta go all the way around, though. Take you guys with me. I like this quick trip. There was another one a little further down the road, but the parking lot is like across the street from the actual store. And it's a little smaller, so it's not, I don't really like it as much. And I've stopped here many times before. I kind of like it better. Oh, they paved everything right to the back. I'm pretty sure this used to be gravel. That's nice. I like that. So these two guys parked facing this way. I'm going to park between them facing the other way. You'll see in a second what I mean. They're going to face this way. so that they don't have to listen to anything, any noises I make at night, like my engine. I don't know what kind of noises you were thinking of. And if they decide to idle up their truck or rev their engine fan up, I don't have to listen to that either. Sometimes even people have really noisy APUs. I know I'm picky, I know. But uh, I like to have a quiet night if possible. So if it's not possible, it's not possible. But if it is, you know, I'll go out of my way to park in a spot where it's going to be quiet. I think everybody's like that. Back in here and pull the brakes and... That's that. This also blocks the sun out. See, the sun also gets blocked up by this guy's trailer. And it'll be rising over there in the morning. And we're facing south, so the sun will come up. Well, we're going to be out of here before the sun really comes up, but... I like waking up. I, I leave my curtains open all the time because I want to wake up and see the sunlight. The sunlight helps me wake up. It's probably one of the reasons why I don't like getting up before the sun. Which is difficult in winter time because up north, like in Canada, even in southern Canada, but you know, the further north you go in Canada, the shorter the daylight hours are in winter time. And sometimes the sun won't rise till like nine in the morning and it'll set at three in the afternoon. You know, you go even further north it doesn't come up at all. Night, 24 hours a day for three months, right? Or is it 30 days for one month? I don't know. I don't know. It's just like Alaska for you Americans. Same thing, it's just more of it. And it's emptier. Alaska is more developed than Northern Canada. Uh, America in general is very developed. Uh, by that I mean like human developed. Everything you see has been planned that way. Whereas in Canada, there's a lot more uh, nature, natural habitat, untouched wilderness. Anyways, I gotta go to bed. Well, I gotta get ready for bed. I wanna get, get a good night's sleep tonight. Have a great one, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share this video with your friends. If you liked it, chances are they will too. Tomorrow we go pick up the load. It'll be a bit of a short day, but I hope you tune in. It'll be fun hanging out. Tony here, watching the ups and downs of Trucker Josh. Poison oak and all. Have a good day.